Far out in the west of Victoria is the small grain-producing town of Mertoa. To the north of the once vibrant and lively station is the junction to the Patchewalak Line, better known as the Hopeton Line. In this week's video, we'll be covering the Patchewalak Line's history, closure, rolling stock, services, some stations along the line, where it is today, and will services resume. History slash closure. On the 12th of May, 1883, the Pachi Wallach Line was opened, but it wasn't known as the Pachi Wallach Line. It wouldn't reach Pachi Wallach until the 6th of May, 1925. It reached its first terminus of Warak Nabil in 1883. It would reach its second terminus of Beulah in 1893. It would reach its third terminus of Hopeton in 1894. And finally, it would reach Pachi Wallach in 1925, as mentioned before. It was built after local sheep farmer Edward H. Lassels campaigned for the line's construction. He wanted it so badly that he began construction himself as a private line. But the line was eventually finished by Victorian Railways. Cornby grain was an important component of the Pudgy Wallach Line. It would make up the bulk of trains for many years, and even to this day. A proposal to extend the Hopeton Line to the Mildura Line was considered in 1903. It would allow trains from Mildura to access the port of Portland, much closer than the ports of Geelong and Melbourne. These plans would be shortened to just extending the line to Pachawala and a separate line would be built to allow Mildura trains to access Portland. This would be the Maribara to Ararat line. After many years of service, the line beyond Hopeton would be ripped up in December of 1986, due to poor track condition. In April of 1995, the Hopeton line would be one of the lucky few lines to be converted to standard gauge, along with the Western line. In 2014, the line was upgraded to have a 21-ton axle load, the line was originally operated by El Zorro before they collapsed in 2014. Then the line was taken over by Pacific National. The first train under Pacific National operation was hauled by G536 and G531 and leased CFCLA rolling stock. Rolling stock. In the steam era, J classes and K classes were the main steam engines used on the line, and post modernization, T classes and B classes would be used before Y classes took over. Passenger trains beyond the 30s would have also been run by rail motors, or were mixed in with goods trains. Today, Pacific National runs the line with the rolling stock they have, such as GMs, Gs, BLs, and VLs. Some stations along the line. Minyip. Steam rolled into Minyip for the first time in January of 1886, but the station officially opened in May. Stockyards were erected in 1887, and goods platforms were found to be too short, so they were extended the very next year. A weight bridge and dairy produce shed were added in 1889, and in 1890, a tender was put out for a permanent station building which was completed a couple years later. In 1939, Minip received some grain silos, which were, at the time, the largest in all of Victoria. In the 50s, a steel annex bin and oak shed were erected. Across the whole line, rail motors were replaced with buses in 1976. Soon, the stockyards were demolished and the station building was boarded up. It still remains in relatively good condition. Warwick Nabil. In 1886, the line reached Warwick Nabil. It has a major grain siding one kilometer north of the town, which has been active since the 1920s. The site also includes an old grain distillery storage. Below the station site are some, you guessed it, grain silos. Being the largest town in the area, it should have a few. When the line was extended to Hopeton, the extension was known as the Warwick Nabil to Lake Korong Railway Line. In 1926, a livestock annex was built, 
The now disused station building is a very attractive red brick. In 1939, a 70-foot turntable was provided. In 1971, flashing lights were provided on the Henty Highway level crossings. In April of 1995, the station and the line as a whole was closed for gauge conversion and reopened in late May. Beulah opened in January of 1893. Beulah Railway Station acted as the line's terminus for a year and two months, before being extended to Hopeton. The station building built for the town is also an attractive red brick of a different design. It's still in good condition despite having not been used in over 40 years. This wasn't actually the first station built for the town. In 1928, the first station burnt down. In 1896, a siding was provided at the station called Jellapai Siding, which would be renamed to Thomas Siding in 1908, and then renamed to Ambiac Siding in 1977. In the same year, the station master would be booted out. In 1994, Road Free was closed. The ticket office today is now a clubhouse meeting room. Hopeton. Opened in April of 1894, Hopeton is the terminus of the line today, and only a platform mound and a good shed survive. Although the good shed is just a standard good shed you would find on any station in Victoria. In 1913, a cattle pit was added at the up end of the station. The line was extended past Hopeton in 1925. In 1970, the aging turntable was removed. In 1977, the station master was fired. At this point, the station had no one in charge. In 1987, Hopeton became the official terminus when the line was closed beyond. Putchwallock Opened in 1923, just two miles short of the town, it reached Putchwallock in 1925, and would be the furthest the line had gone, and the galvanized iron shed would be erected in 1928. Unfortunately, it's closed today, but surprisingly, a small wooden hut still survives, as well as the good shed. Even more surprisingly, the station had a station master, which was provided in 1929, which was then out of a job in 1976. Soon, the station closed in 1978, and then so did the line in 1985. Where is it today? Today, the line carries mineral sands and grain, very standard for the Wimmera. Iluka mineral sand trains run from Hopeton to Hamilton every week. Iluka mineral sand deliveries from Uyin would also be unloaded at Hopeton. From there, they would be transported to Hamilton. BL31 and G540 would be some of the first diesels used on the line. Grain trains run every week as well. They are also operated by Pacific National. The maximum line speed is 50 kilometers an hour for the entire line, with the exception of Warwick side to Hopeton as it is in poor condition. So it gets a max of 30 kilometers per hour. Wheel services resume. Freight trains run regularly, but a passenger service could be useful. There are some towns with a decent population. The towns with surviving station buildings are the towns which could have a stop. These include Minyip, Warwick Nabil, Bream, Beulah, Hopeton, and Potchwallock. But a massive upgrade to the tracks would have to be undertaken before a passenger service could even be considered. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked this video about the Hopeton line. If you have any suggestions on what line I should do next, then leave a comment below. If not, like and subscribe and I'll see you later.